The man accused of witnessing a Cyprus mother torture her twins and hold them captive was in court today for the first time. 27 year old Jova Terrell is the mother's boyfriend. Anayeli Ruiz was in court and joins us live with those details. We want to warn you. Many of them are graphic. Anayeli. His bond was originally set at $500,000 and today that bond was increased to a million dollars. With a bandaid over his eye, 27 year old Jova Terrell appeared in court for the first time in Harris County. Terrell's being charged with assault, continuous family violence in a case that has shocked the community. These are the types of cases, child abuse cases or, you know, really heinous cases like this with bad facts where you're trying to protect people, where you're trying to make sure that your community is safe and trying to get justice for your victims. Back in October, a set of twins escaped the Cypress home of Terrell and Zaika Duncan in the middle of the night looking for help. A neighbor rescued them and called police. And what those kids told investigators unveiled a long list of alleged abuse taking place inside the home. Court documents say the kid's mother, 40 year old Zaika Duncan, is accused of holding them captive and starving them, forcing them to drink household cleaners. They say she poured bleach on their genitals until it burned their skin and forced to defecate and urinate on themselves and then eat and drink it. They say they were given 24 tablets of Benadryl to sleep and the kids were found with wounds and scars all over their body. Abuse investigators say Terrell witnessed and did nothing to stop it. He definitely was present in the home. There's no question about that and that he was present while the kids were being assaulted, being tortured and that he had witnessed all of this. It's not entirely clear what the extent of his involvement is yet, but we're still digging and doing investigating to figure that out. When the twins escaped, Terrell and the kid's mother fled with five other kids to Louisiana, where they were later arrested by police. And just last week, Terrell was extradited to Harris County, where investigators hope to get more information. It's just a question of was he also participating in the assaults as well? Uh, there is some evidence that suggests that he was, but we're trying to get to the bottom of all of that. Prosecutors say all seven kids are in foster care and were forensically interviewed this week, meaning a mental health specialist in trauma interviewed them and recorded the interviews that are admissible in court. Video prosecutors say he's still reviewing. It, it's rough to listen to everything. Um, these kids were tortured, they were abused, and what happened to them was absolutely awful. And there's just going to be no taking that away from them in the future. They're going to live with it for the rest of their lives. Well, the kid's mother is still in jail. Her bond was set at $4.5 million. Reporting live in downtown Houston, Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News.